Hello friend, good see you. My name is Firdaus Sheikh, your host for this evening. I'm Senior Manager of Swiss Education Foundation, an exclusive platform to promote Switzerland as a study destination. This is our 14th talk show and broadcasted live on Facebook, YouTube and LinkedIn. Every alternate Friday, we aim to bring in eminent speakers to discuss the topic that will help you to explore this beautiful country, which has been the favorite destination for Bollywood shootings, family vacations, and definitely for education. Those who are listening to us for the first time via Swiss Education, India's largest platform for hospitality, business, culinary, and international school programs at elite and top-ranked colleges of Switzerland. Our students have been awarded a total scholarship of Rs. 7.30 crore to study in Switzerland. We offer airport-to-airport -airport service and leaves nothing to chance. So, well, let's move on to our today's topic, that is study at IB School in Switzerland. To discuss this exciting subject, we have with us our today's guest, Ms. Magdalena Drag Salem. So, let's welcome Ms. Va Ms. Magdalena. Hello, everyone. I'm very happy um, to be able to talk to you today about Swiss uh, education. Thank you, Magdalena. I'll quickly give us a small introduction about Magdalena so that we can move ahead. Magdalena has been in charge for the marketing and admissions in Swiss International School for three years and 17 years of marketing and customer relationship management experience in one of the top Fortune 100 companies, which is FMCJ. To all our viewers, if you have any questions or comment, please feel free to write in the comment and we will try to address as we progress. So let's begin the session quickly with a short introduction about Switzerland. So Switzerland is a landlocked country of towering mountains, deep alpine lakes, grassy valleys, dotted with neat farms and small villages and thriving cities that blend the old and the new Switzerland. Switzerland is the nexus of the diverse physical and cultural geography of Western Europe renowned for both its natural beauty and its way of life. So moving on to the main show, I would like to quickly start without wasting much time to quickly have my first question for Ms. Magdalena on our today's topic about studying at IB International Schools. So my first question for you, Magdalena, is why is Switzerland, Geneva, considered as the IB capital? Well, as you said, Switzerland is a mountain, um, nature-oriented country, but we also have some major cities like Geneva and Zurich. And Geneva has um, uh, um, headquarters of United Nations in Europe, of some of the agendas of United Nations. And uh, because of the United Nations, International Baccalaureate Organization has been set up and started in Geneva in 1968. And until today, the IB, in global headquarters are based in Geneva. And we have in Switzerland more than 250 schools that offer the IB. And worldwide, there's 5,500 schools, but still Switzerland and Geneva are the capital of the IB. Absolutely. That's a huge number. I think 250 plus is an amazing number yes. that Switzerland has been the home country, the capital to IB. My next question to you, Magdalena, is more related about choosing as an option, you know, IB as an option. So how does one decide studying at international boarding school will be a right option for them? Mm -hmm. And when is the right time or at what level the students can be admitted at international schools, international boarding school per se? Well, IB is recognized worldwide. It's, um, it's a certification and it's a program that is internationally recognized in 159 countries. But what is even more important, it is universally recognized by universities worldwide. UK, American, Canadian, German, French, I mean, all the universities uh, recognize IB, including the most prestigious one. Uh, so it is a very nice and easy way for the student, well, easy. It's, it's quite demanding. It's very academically rigorous, but it's a very, um, um, it's, it's a standard you know way. Universally applicable. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's a common way of getting into uh, good prestigious universities. In terms of the age, uh, IB program is offered from the age of three to the age of 18. But for boarding, um, majority of the schools offer uh, boarding solutions at international schools for secondary schools, including our school. We accept students for middle years IB program, which is from the age of 11 to 16. And then, of course, 
uh, some students choose to, to join the boarding um, and the IB diploma only for the last two years, which are the most rigorous and demanding in terms of academic. But there is a lot of benefit of joining even earlier on because it helps to set the proper ground and proper preparation for, for the diploma. Absolutely. Very true. So they are if they are going in the middle years program, their base is more strong to get into the uh, DP part, to get into the Absolutely. diploma level. So I think this would definitely encourage students who are looking out to make their uh, base very strong when it comes to the middle year programs, of course. Mm -hmm. Moving on to my next question is, what are the benefits of studying in international boarding schools? Mm -hmm. Well, numerous. Um, one uh, and the obvious one is the quality of the academic and um that's um expressed not only in the results um that our ib graduates are getting which are constantly above uh, average global average and with 100 percent pass rate thanks to the quality of the teachers and also numbers of the teachers that the student teachers ratio is one to six which allows for really individualized approach and very personalized learning path Second, um, a huge benefit, I would say, is the fact that in international schools, students are exposed naturally to the diversity of the cultures. At OLAC International School, we have more than 50 nationalities at the moment. So by definition, they learn communication, interaction, culture, understanding, things that will be very useful for them uh, in the future life. Third, um, um, our school also offers uh, university counseling. So there's a lot of support coming from the staff, but also from our alumni that are already at the universities that can help the new graduates to choose the right university and prepare the application. And last but not least, also thanks to the number of activities that the school is offering, extracurricular activities, the students' um, well-being is maintained. Absolutely. Indeed, numerous of benefits the students can get after studying in an international boarding school. So uh, my next question to you is about you, about mm -hmm. Holak International School. Could you brief us and tell us more about the school? So we are based in a Swiss, um, uh, in Switzerland, at the shores of the Lake of Geneva. So very close to the uh, very close to Geneva Airport, about one hour away from the airport. Um, and uh, it's a French-speaking part of, the, of Switzerland. That's the reason why our school, as I said, very international, more than 50 nationalities at school, but we offer academic program, the IB program, with two streams, in English, fully in English, or in English and French. So a lot of our students can choose either to follow the, the IB program in English or have English with French as a um, foreign language or progressively take some subjects in, in uh, French. I would say very important is the fact that, you know, uh, thanks to the fact that our school has nearly 30 years of tradition, we have more than 500 graduates, IB diploma alumni, which gives the school a lot of experience and a lot of knowledge and also connections with the alumni who are supporting our, um, our young graduates. The school is quite progressive in terms of technology. Um, um, a lot of lessons and uh, subjects are uh, focused on new technologies, on coding, on 3D design, on um, everything what young people might need in the 21st, 21st century. And we put also, I mean, as long as IB is extremely rigorous academically, we also put an emphasis on the fact that um, young people develop better if um, their development is also in the combination with the soft skills. So there's a lot of work on project work, on communication, on presentation, on making sure that our alumni and graduates are prepared for the challenges uh, after the school. Absolutely. Indeed, it seems uh, to be a uh, very uh, full-fledgedly organized and, you know, uh, full-fledgedly uh, cooperated, maintained school uh, for young students, for students mm -hmm. who are looking out for IB specifically. So my next question is more related to, since as you mentioned that, you know, it's both international and bilingual. So how does it help Indian students to choose the right pathway? Mm -hmm. So, um, 
as I've mentioned, we have 50 nationalities at school, um, but the biggest population is the Swiss population. We have 24% of our students are Swiss. Um, so being an international school and joining our school, uh, our boarding students are not living in a bubble. They have a lot to do with the local community, with they can get to know the local people and the local, the, the Swiss uh, culture and the, 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 the area. And um, I mean, every language is a benefit. Every language is a gift and a treasure. So even if they follow the program in English, having uh, an ability to study French as a foreign language is an asset. Also students, uh, some of the students choose um, as a second foreign language at our school, German, Mandarin, uh, Russian, or Arabic. Those are, and Spanish and Portuguese, those are the languages that are being offered. Um, but there is much more to it than uh, than just uh, you know comprehension and learning of the languages. It's more about you know melting pot of the nationalities and the cultures and people working together and making sure um, that they are becoming global citizens that are open to the world and able to operate in any place uh, on the on the planet. Absolutely. Indeed, indeed, it seems to give a plethora of opportunity for students to choose on to not only just restricting themselves with one language that is English, but also later to take in options, maybe it could be Russian, maybe German, you know. So bilingual is, again, something which is really very, uh, I would say, helpful for the students here in India. My next question is, uh, what kind of pathways, uh, you know, does the school has? Could you please elaborate on it? Yes, so we are first of all an IB school, so there is an ethos of um, the IB diploma and we offer a middle years program from the age of 11 to the age of 16 um, for, um, for, for all of our students. And then for the last two years, students can choose whether they want to follow an IB diploma program which is the most prestigious in terms of academic exigence and academic rigor or they might follow a more practical solution, which is um, a new addition to the IB programs, which is called IB related program, where they choose um, uh, some of the IB diploma subjects with more practical classes in the areas in which they want to develop their, their career. Additionally, last but not least, um, we, are also the, we were also the first school in Switzerland that has been accredited with um, by World Academy of Sport to be able to offer IB sport and study diploma. And we have a big group. I mean, the total school is six, around 600 students. And out of those 600 students, we have uh, nearly 50 students who are um, young athletes. So um, those are the students that don't want to compromise between academics and their rigorous training. So we can offer flexible approach to following the academic program and extended timing for the students that would allow them to combine the trainings with the academics. And I, I also believe you all have recently introduced the career related programs. Yes. So yes IBDP yes career related tools. yes ibdp so. which we offer in three subjects uh, art and design sport management and sustainability management all right so how does this helps the career related program well um the career related program offers um some of the IB subjects, so students can choose three of the IB subjects, and then they have a component which is delivered to them in a collaboration with universities with whom we have um, partners, uh, okay. partnerships, and they follow some of the uh, subjects from the area that is of their interest, following the program from the first year of the university, and then they get automatic admission to the uh, university, and on top of that, they are asked to work um, on specific topics related to the subjects that are um, that are in their field of study. So IB um, career related program is actually the fastest growing new addition to the IB worldwide and it's becoming more, pop um, more and more popular because of the fact that it combines academic with a practical uh, focus uh, on a specific area that might be of an interest for a student. Absolutely, absolutely. That sounds really amazing, specifically for our audiences, for our students and parents who are listening to us, that IB also has a career extension program, which could further after IBDP also lead down to a program which can help them choose the right career. 
Absolutely. So uh, yes, mm -hmm. this is something which is really uh, new for us, and it's uh, something that the students should definitely explore. My mm -hmm. next question to you is, Magdalena, what facility does Hotlag International School provides on and off campus? Can you take us through it? Ab absolutely. Um, so uh, we are a rather large school, more than 600 students. So we have two campuses that are located three minutes walk away from each other on a on a green hill of. Uh, of a village just above uh, Montreux. And um, we have big sport facilities outdoors, but also indoors, ex uh, modern um, triple sport hall, um, computer, we have three computer rooms, three libraries, two canteens, um, design room, um, 3D printer room. I mean, there's, uh, I would say probably we have everything what the modern school should have. Also Absolutely. in a very digital, uh, digitalized uh, form. But, uh, you know, one thing is an academic and we believe, I mean, the, the motto of the school is to nurture talents, foster happiness and create futures. Um, and within the, the belief and the, the, uh, the motto of the school, we also want to make sure that our students who are studying with us or boarding with us, we foster their happiness while they are here. So the school offers a lot of after school activities and those can be either um, in the domain of sport, in the domain of art, programming, coding, music, uh, debate clubs, and every student and secondary student can join up to two activities after school a day, if they have time in between the studies and if they manage Amazing. to combine it. And altogether, uh, the choice is really broad. We offer across the school 150 clubs to choose from. So a lot of different sport disciplines are covered and a lot of interests. Because what I have been known about is that you have 50 plus extracurricular activities. 150. 150. 150. Oh, that's yes. amazing. That's yes, amazing. Yes. And uh, could, you, could you just uh, mm -hmm. share a few names of the sports absolutely, absolutely. You know, that are yes. there mm -hmm. at your mm -hmm. campus that mm -hmm. provide support and well, so, students for it? Absolutely. So, of course, uh, tennis, uh, football, baseball, basketball, volleyball, you know, like all the major sports. We also have netball, which is an upcoming sport. Uh, but uh, of course, we have skiing. Amazing. I mean, of course, skiing is part of curriculum. So every single student from our school in winter uh, goes skiing once a week, at least. And then uh, if our Insane. boarding students would like to, they can go on Saturday and Sunday. But this is not obligatory. This is if they want to. So they can ski three days a week, which is an amazing experience during um, the, the, the winter months. We are very lucky. We are located 20 minutes away from the um, nearest ski slope. So it's very, it's very easy. It's very um, of course, we have, uh, we have teams where students can join the sport teams to, to, to play specific sport, but we also do offer leisure. So you don't need to be a champion in basketball. If you are, good, you can join the basketball team, but if you just enjoy playing, you can join the basketball club where they play for leisure. We have special partnership with um, the local basketball team, a uh, local tennis uh, club and the local golf course um, that gives some privileges and really broad access to our students. And um, the, even indoor, inside the school, we have a golf Pac-Man, so kind of like a toolkit to train during the winter. So, uh, so there's quite a choice and I would say sport is very, very uh, big. On top of that, secondary students, um, can join something what is called International Award, which is a Duke of Edinburgh Prize, where um, they have challenges, hiking challenges, and they can hike around the Swiss mountains over the weekends or extended weekends. And they do it as a group of friends, you know, with, uh, of course, supervised with the teachers. So that's also an exciting thing for some of our boarders. And also for our boarding students, because we are located in the center of Europe, it's two hours away from Milano and uh, France is just across the other side of, of the lake. So um, our boarding students, sometimes on the weekends, they also do trips over the weekend to different um, city locations within Europe. Of course, with COVID, it has been a little bit more restrained, but we are hoping that as of the next year, it's going to become, you know, open, completely open again, because the situation is very much stabilizing here and a lot of restrictions are being lifted. 
that's 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 amazing that's amazing to know that there are so many extra curricular and sports related mm -hmm. activity mostly indian students do look out for options which does have a combination of both you know the academics yeah. plus the socials and plus mm -hmm. the you know sports related activities which could definitely you know uh, develop them as in whole as in yes. whole in totality so this is and something which is Mm -hmm. oh, sorry, yes. we very much also believe this is a way to integrate, this is a way to feel healthy and feel good, and it's a way of staying away from problems if the students Absolutely. are involved in Absolutely. sport. Absolutely. Absolutely. I completely agree. Uh, my last question to you would be, how does school prepare students after IB? After IB, mm -hmm. DB could be or the career related for graduation and also for the global career opportunities. Okay, so um, the during the two final uh, diploma years, um, our university counselor is working very closely with each of the students. Um, in each of the cl graduating class, we have around 45, 46 students. So we can build a personal um, relation and, and really to get to know to them. And um, together with the head of secondary and the person responsible for the diploma program, they really carefully select which subjects students should choose for the diploma program. So that to make sure that the subject selection helps the student to get to the right university. <clears throat> uh, so there's a lot of interactions, there's a lot of workshops, there's a lot of you know, support from academic. I mean, at all like we offer more than 30 IB options, which is very big it's a huge choice so options uh, are um, very diverse and students need to be guided and our university counselor is working with them on that and we also involve our alumni and we have alumni at some of the top universities worldwide harvard mit stanford um king's college lsc i mean that those are really good universities worldwide Absolutely. so when we top ivy league sort of yes and yes. russell group universities as well um so whenever we have a student applying to uh to one of those prestigious universities we would reach out also to our alumni to make sure that they can interact with the student tell them a little bit more about the life at the university help them prepare Last but not least, um, uh, we uh, the, the academic team uh, is working, you know, really closely with the students also to understand their capabilities so that uh, they can prepare um, uh, for for the for the in in the right way throughout the time. So there's a lot of the last two years are very very intensive work uh academic uh, uh academically uh, related work for the students and also an exercise of making sure that every step on the way is supervised in the right way by our academic team and also our boarding parents who are making sure that students don't miss the deadlines absolutely absolutely so i think uh, there's a lot of thing you know that all like international school could offer to the students starting from the middle year programs till the IBDP and then IBDCP related to the career oriented programs as well reaching out to the world's top rank universities getting admissions to the Ivy Leagues as well and to the other major top I would say world non-institutes as well so I think what not the student would now look out for so i would recommend and i would highly suggest to the parents and to the students who are listening out to me uh do uh give a thought of uh, you know uh exploration uh to this uh, institute as well which is one of the most uh international school coming directly from the ib capital from geneva so i thank you miss magdalena for joining thank us today for the show a pleasure and it's, it's a wonderful session that we had today with you with very insightful information. I thank you all for joining me today for the topic, which is study at Ivy School in Switzerland. If any of our listeners seeks further information on study in Switzerland, please feel free to connect with us on our helpline number 8879 or visit our website swisseducation.com. It's TZ, S-W-I-T-Z, education.com. Our experienced counselor will be happy to assist you instantly. My name is Firdaus Sheikh, Senior Manager from Swiss Education Foundation, signing off with the promise to come back again on 25th February. Yes, 25th February, sharp at 5 p.m. with another guest speaking on an interesting educational topic. Until then, thanks, Switzerland, thanks, Swiss Education. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.